in this tutorial I will basically build an application using react pi so let's talk about first that what is actually react pi is react pi is basically a library uh, which is uh, built using python so how it's actually work it is work like a react js so if you see these applications that that's html h1 and hello world so if we run this application it will uh, uh, create a URL where we will find a uh, written hello world in h1 tag so let's begin first of all what we have to do I just wanted to create an environment because of without environment it is uh, very difficult to work with uh, new things so I will suggest everyone that before you start to work with something new you you must uh, create uh, environment even even if you want to work with some popular applications like uh, flask django also you you must create environment because of that will uh, never affect in your uh, computer okay let's begin to create an in environment first so first of all i'm going to create environment uh, okay so for creating environment I will add Python 3 minus M B and B and uh, uh, that's uh, I'm going to create a react uh, by environment so I'm going to write as a react by the env my environment name so it will create an environment for me now after that what I will do I will create a folder okay so uh, Python uh, I mean react by environment has been created now I'm going to create a directory mkdir where i will write my code so uh, the my folder name will be let's say react pi tutorial okay so uh, after creating that i'm going to open visual studio code so in my visual studio code i'm going to open the folder so open the folder So my folder name is react by tutorial so I have to like go to that folder name react by tutorial there is nothing there so I'm going to create a file now so I have uh, created a file which is name is react hello so in here I will copy the code I mean the sorry uh, copy this code and paste okay so everything is now clear now I'm going to open the terminal so because of uh, in the terminal what I will do I will go back a little bit and I will add source to activate the environment where I will run this code okay so what I will do I will go to the source and I will write react here sorry react by and I have to write bean and activate so this will activate the react by environment here so in this environment I will install all these things before that I'm going to go to the react by okay I'm going to write the folder name which is uh, react by and tutorial so in this folder if you see there is only one file so in here I have to install this library so for installing this library I can use pip3 so uh, okay so let's say pip3 install react by so it will install react by so okay it's installing react by okay so react pi had been installed it so now what we have to do we have to run this code so I'm going to write Python 3 and run react by hello so most probably okay it's giving an error so what we can do uh, we can copy this error and uh, copy this error and search in our browser that what it is giving let's check uh, it is giving something so I found the question first so if I read this and the answer is given here 
so if you see we have to install uh, Istalete and uh, if you see uh, there is also given an answer which is that uh, we need to install Istalete fast API snake so uh, what we can do we can directly copy this uh, code and execute it so let's see what it's give to us saying everything is cached and everything uh, i mean everything had been installed previously i'm not sure that why it is not okay again i'm running the code yeah this uh okay now it worked so i'm going to copy here this url and paste it in the new tab okay so we see a hello world had been created so uh for, for from this one we we can easily understand that uh installation is perfectly fine and it's working even if we write anything here it will like uh let's say if we write something like that so it will also let's say okay i'm going to run this and just uh refresh or oh, create by had been opened here so it is showing that so now in the next uh, tutorial we will check how we can organize these and how we can beautify this one so uh, okay uh, they have given a tutorial like chapter one chapter two so i'm going to chapter one is completed by this time so i'm going to talk about chapter two now so in here if you see uh, there are two uh, function one is data list one is uh, to-do list so they have created some data so I'm going to copy this code and uh, describe it uh, in the in the sections I mean while I'm uh, doing the code so uh, I'm going to open and I'm going to open another file so which is a uh, uh, second chapter let's say second chapter right. so in the second chapter I'm going to copy the full code here so let's see what happened I will describe it later let's see it's working or not so I'm going to run second chapter right. it's perfectly fine now going to okay it's it's look nice and uh, it's working so basically uh, what happened here let's uh, describe a little bit so uh, if you see uh, it's fast run the to-do list function so it will come to to-do list so there is there are few tasks or a list of dictionary had been uh, added here so what happened here if you see HTML sections in here uh, they write uh, I mean uh, a h1 take in the data list what they have returned if you check that uh, they have called the function with the data list and task had been centered and filter priority one sort priority two so if I come back here items had been collected so items means these are the list so in here they have added all these list in the HTML li and uh, another this uh, li list had been added in the ul uh, like if you know a little bit uh, html then you can understand what i actually will do it will like show uh, or organize uh, like one after one so and then this had been returned and these uh, had been added by comma i mean uh, after each one type so that's printed the whole things that we see here okay so this look nice let's uh, do some modifications in our fast code let's say uh, I want to like do write something uh, something else so what we can do for that uh, if you see this code we can learn how we can use multiple tag here so uh, in HTML section uh, they have added multiple code so they have uh, they, they have created a section in that section they have added lots of things 
so what we can do here like we can also add a section like let's say HTML section so in that section we can like uh, add some other codes like h1 and other tags if you see the code how they add it you will be easily understand like uh, in the HTML section they also write HTML again and in that HTML they have put h1 so what we can do here in the in this section like HTML sections and in this we're going to write let's say again HTML h1 hello react point uh, and then let's say I want to add some paragraph this is a paragraph and we can add some big paragraph as well but I want to check that till now it is alright or not so okay so I'm going to uh, read this and run the hello pi again so if I go back to that if you see that's working perfectly fine okay now uh let's see is there any chapter 3 or not yeah there is a chapter 3 so in chapter 3 adding interactivity so uh they just wanted to add uh, some click function maybe uh, like button or uh, something like that so let's see how they did it so first of all i would like to copy full code so and i want to give the name like chapter 3 so okay so I just wanted to copy this and paste it here and I just wanted to rename this file okay so uh, I, I would like to copy the full code from here then maybe we can have some modifications so I'm just copying the code Let's see what happened. Okay, just paste it here. Okay, now I'm going to run this. Okay, for running this, I have to write Python 3 and the name of that is chapter. So, chapter 3 by. So, okay, there is a problem in here. So no file directory user react by tutorial data JSON. Okay, so in here they use some data I think. So that's uh, data JSON is not found here. So some culture data. Okay, uh, let's see that uh, file. Maybe we need to download it. So so if you see the data JSON is this one so we have to create a json file so okay i'm going to copy this uh, json data and i'm going to create a file which name will be uh, something like from here data.json so data dot something like json and i'm going to press enter and i'm going to press it here so okay that's now i have the data json file so if i run this file again let's see what it is doing okay it's uh successfully run now i'm going to open this and you see it's worked so uh there is a oh, home ninja something like that there are a few things in here if i press next then the next thing is came here wow this look nice it, it's working perfectly fine so so uh, I will discuss about the code uh, in in my later videos uh, as I will make uh, chapter 3 and chapter 4 uh, and chapter 5 as well as this is under construction so maybe later on I will discuss about uh, all this chapter also when it is uh, came out when they published it so uh, uh, that's it for today good luck bye bye